After installing a Windows 10 update around April, you might have noticed that an extra drive letter has appeared and you might be getting a low disk warning like this one shown on the screen now. If this is the case, then just check to see if an, a, a D drive or an E drive has been added. So I just move my mouse over the yellow folder down here and left click once and then left clicked this PC. Now, if you don't have a yellow folder down here, the other way of getting to this is to left click the start button and then left click on the documents button just here and then left click this PC. Okay, so as you can see, the low disk space message has come up again saying you're running out of disk space on recovery. It tells us to click here to uh, uh, showing ways of recovering the disk space. Now, basically what's happened is during the update, this recovery drive E um, has been unhidden. It's normally a hidden drive that runs in the background of the computer. So we want to get rid of that. So to do that, we make a note of the letter that's after recovery. Now, in my case, it's the E drive. In yours, it might be something completely different. It might be D. Very important, make a note of the whatever letter is after the word recovery. So in my case, like I say, this is E. Now, we close down this window by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. Then we left click the start button and we just type on our keyboard command and after a few seconds, command prompt will appear under best match. Move your mouse over this and then click the right mouse button. That's the right mouse button. And then move your mouse over run as administrator and click the left mouse button. That's the left mouse button. It will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? As long as it says Windows command processor, left click yes. If it says anything else, left click no. So I left click yes, okay, a black box now appears on the screen and we need to type disk part, all one word, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Then press enter or return on our keyboard. We then need to type list space volume, just as it's shown here. And then press enter or return on the keyboard. Okay, now, Earlier, I told you to write down the letter that comes after the word recovery. In my case, it was E. Now, what I need to do is I need to type select space volume space and then the letter E. Now, if your drive letter was something different after recovery, then type whatever that was. So mine was E. We don't need to type in the, uh, the, um, the colons or the open or close brackets. Um, we can leave that out. So, okay, so I type select volume E and then press enter or return on a keyboard. It says volume one is the selected volume. So that's great. Okay, and then I type remove letter equals E. Now, this is obviously again dependent on whatever letter was after the word recovery in uh, the brackets. So, okay, so I'm gonna type remove space letter E, press enter or return on the keyboard, and it says disk part, disk part has successfully removed the drive letter or mount point. Now, we close this down by left clicking on the cross in the top left right hand corner, and then we left click the start button, left click on power, left click restart, wait for the computer to restart, and uh, we'll come back to this after the computer's restarted. Okay, so my computer's now restarted, so just to check, make the drive, make sure the drive letter's gone, I move my mouse down to the uh, yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, or if I haven't got a yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, left click on the start menu, and then left click the documents button just here, and then left click this PC, scroll down, and as you can see, the E drive is no longer showing. So that's it. Hopefully you shouldn't get any more low disk space warnings. If you are still getting the low disk space warnings, then it's obviously another drive that's uh, running out of space, but you really don't wanna hide any other drives. This is only the recovery drive, which should be hidden. Like I say, this is just, just down to a fault in the Windows 10 upgrade process. It's left the drive unhidden for some reason. So uh, anyway, hope this video helps.